Wow, check this out. Simultaneously, I'm on YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and Instagram Live. Check that out. I don't, I've never been able to multitask before. My wife would be, what are you doing? You're crazy. You don't know how to multitask. So my name is Mike Harper. Uh, this channel is Harper Explores. And basically, I have been waiting for the last five days to get something in the mail. And I've been hinting about it. And here it is. So this is a box with two pairs of uh, shoes in it. And the KSGB, which is the tape on the top, you see this? It's a K-Swiss Global Brands. This is a limited edition shoe. It is coming out for the Chinese New Year, which starts February 5th here in the United States. And um, you know, one of the designers, the designer that designed these shoes at K-Swiss, um, is a really awesome guy. Let's get into the shoe. So one thing I hate about unboxing videos is when people take forever to get into the box. All right, so there are two pairs of shoes in here. I ordered both of the Chinese. Let's see, this is the Classic 88. So these are the classics. So if you look at the classic, the um, concept of the classic has been around for a very, very long time. It's one of the original shoes that K-Swiss started off their business with. And um, they still make it today. A little tiny bit different, but the idea is that it's a your classic look. And these are the ones that I'm most excited about. Actually, I'm excited about both of them, but this one I'm the most excited about because this is the CR329. And this is the uh, Chinese New Year model. It is um, a new, complete new shoe for K-Swiss, and I am floored by the uh, by the midsole on this thing. It is a beautiful, beautiful shoe. So first thing I want to go off on is just talk really quick about the boxes K-Swiss is going back to. And if you've bought K-Swiss in the last, gosh, I think it's been at least the last three or four years, they've had a just a straight blue box, a one color printed blue box. So I'm in the printing business, so when I look at uh, printing, I'm always checking out uh, what people are doing. So they've uh, stepped up their game a little bit, went back to a more classic K-Swiss box. Um, this, this used to be a handle box that had a little handle on the inside of it, but these don't have the handles on them anymore. Um, both boxes look exactly the same. Same exact size, and I bought the same exact size of shoe. So let's start with the classic. This is the um, classic 88 TCNY, which stands for Chinese New Year, and that's actually trademarked. Um, this is a men's low, and this is order number 4500336811, and that says red gold, which is uh, an understatement when you say red and gold. So, all right. So they got the classic K-Swiss shield on the paper on the inside. Oh my goodness. Wow. So this, let me get both of them out here. I've got another camera over here, so I want my YouTube camera to see this shoe. Pretty cool stuff. So this is a, uh, a classic shoe from K-Swiss, and they've done a lot of different things that you wouldn't really think about that they would do in a shoe when they did these. And I think they did a, a really phenomenal job when they designed this shoe. So they use a traditional fabric, and it's a red fabric, but it's got this gold um, embroidery and a red embroidery over the top of it and some gold print. And then they've got the gold uh, K-Swiss shield logo. So one thing I was curious about when I saw all the pictures was, was the sole like a stark white or was it more of a cream? And I would have to say it's right in between. It is just a just like an off-white. Um, just a really kind of a nice classy off-white color. It's not stark white where the red and the white, you know, really bounces um, off on the, on the color. So here I have a white on my uh, sweater and this is a stark white. So you're gonna see here, this is more of a, kind of a, a light, light, light beige. So really cool, kind of like, not even the antique uh, yellow, just a, a nice, kind of a creamy color. So anyways, this has got their classic five stripes. 
And when I watched the video that YouTube did about the design on this and the way he designed it, this, um, this string in here, which is their five stripes, is actually made to look like the button loops on the traditional like Chinese garb. So I thought that was really cool. Um, this is something that they would normally wear uh, for New Year's Eve um, and New Year's Day and, and kind of that whole uh, time period. And normally on the classics, there's um, this has the, the D-rings. So this would have been like gold D-rings on regular 88, but they really uh, went all the way out on this shoe and, and made quite a few changes to really make this shoe look a lot different. Um, the other thing is, is the eyelets, even the eyelets on the inside. So these are um, gold colored eyelets. I don't know if they're gold or brass or what they are, but uh, really cool. Uh, even the, the tongue stay is uh, the same fabric that the rest of the, of the shoes made out of. Sole's pretty, pretty uh, normal. This is a normal K-Swiss um, sole. Really nice, comfortable type of shoe. I can't wait to wear these. I'm going to take some pictures and put them online um, on the uh, YouTube video. You can see the triple toe. I'll push this out over here to YouTube. So see the the way that the toe is made. That's that is the um, standard classic look. Really well made. You know, when I look at a pair of shoes that's kind of in this price range, you kind of expect it to not be absolutely perfect. But I tell you, man, with computers nowadays and the way that they're making fabric and the way they're producing this stuff, it looks like everything is spot on, like absolutely perfect. Also, one of the things I really like about the classic is I like to wear my shoes so that my, you know, my tie and my loop don't show. And I like to tie my shoes, you know, under the tongue. Or if you don't like to even tie the shoe under the tongue, but you want it to, to look nice, um, just like that, and you want to show the shield off, which is really neat. The way that you can do that with the classic, and I'm sure it was designed this way, but I just figured this out myself. Oh, look at that. Look at the lace ends. So the lace ends are gold too. Check those out. That's pretty neat. Um, so the, the idea of this would be that usually you'd, you know, you would put it through this loop here and then go back and then tie up over the top. What you can do that's different with this is um, you can actually put through, there's a, there's a tiny hole that's right through here. You'll stick that through there and that actually holds your shoe tight enough to, to walk around in or drive in. You know, it wouldn't be like running a marathon in them or anything, but basically the whole point of them is that you can have an untied lace still inside your shoe and uh, not have that bulky stuff going on under your tongue and still have a good looking shoe. So, hey, K-Swiss, great job. Uh, this is our limited edition available right now. They've already started losing some of the sizes. They didn't make a lot of these. They didn't plan on selling them all year long. So um, this is also the, the year of the pig, but on this particular classic, I don't see anything really that shows that this is like the year of the pig on it. On the CR329s, we're going to see something a little bit different in those. I can't wait to get into those. Uh, they're actually a really cool shoe. The other thing is it's kind of a unisex shoe. You know, it's not a men's shoe. It's not a women's shoe. Um, it's a really cool look. Um, something you can dress up with um, if you want to, to go out on the night. Or, you know, just a cool pair of shoes. A, a talking piece. These are also an 11 and a half. Same size box, by the way. I kind of expected this box to maybe be a little bit bigger because of the way that this sole is. Yes, I'm trying to drag this out. Um, wow. <laughs> All right, here they are. So this is the CR329. This is also a Chinese New Year, but they went uh, above and beyond. So first of all, brand new sole, brand new midsole, completely brand new shoe. So this is coming out brand new for 2019. Um, they haven't had this sole available on any other shoe before. This is the first one that they're coming out on. Uh, today, or yesterday they dropped the castle, or maybe two days ago they dropped the castle, and then today dropped the running shoe, the city running shoe, which I think is uh, really cool. It's got the same suede uh, on the front. But let's kind of go through the shoe and we'll go over a few different really key points. But this is very specific shoe that it's uh, very specific for this year, for the year of the pig. So um, first of all, all of the suede and the leather is pigskin. I, I thought that was cool. They actually made sure that all of this was uh, pigskin. 
So it, this has all the embroidery uh, kind of in the toe and the outside edges here. Um, you know, this is like a pigskin like you would expect, kind of like a football. It's, a, it's like a heavier, heavier, um, thicker material. Uh, and this is the same uh, type of material that was used in the, the Classic. Um, but there's something a little bit different. I'm not see if I can get this spoken in. So here's on Instagram there. So that is the symbol for the year of the pig. And then I'm going to push this out so we can see this in here. Same thing here with the color of the sole. So you'll notice that the color of the sole is identical to the, the classic. So the CR and the classic are the same. Um, it's a really nice classy off-white. Uh, it still really pops, but at the same time, it's not so stark white that it doesn't look good with the red, okay? So I thought that uh, that was one of the things I was a little bit concerned about, but I'm actually really excited to see. Also, if you'll notice here on the edge of the midsole, there's this really cool wave that kind of goes across it. And uh, depending on which camera you're looking at, some of this might be a little bit uh, hard to, to pick up. Um, but buy your own pair and you can look at it yourself, right? <laughs> um, so this little SS here is the shock spring. That's um, something that K-Swiss has had for a long time, um, but they're bringing it into this new uh, version of the shoe. Ooh, that's completely different sole. So check out the sole here. So this is the an interesting K-Swiss logo I haven't seen before. Thought that was really neat. Huh. When I saw these in the pictures, I wasn't you know sure how that really was gonna show up or come out. But it's really deep actually. It's a lot deeper than I thought. It's not chunky, like it's not got a bunch of big chunky stuff like on the just guess what I'm wearing. So it's not it doesn't have like the big chunky you know, outside midsole like this one does here. Um, it's all contained in one piece, which I think is really cool. These are really, really lightweight. And you kind of expect these to be, you know, have some heft to them because they're going to be a shoe you can wear for a few years. Um, this is going to be a, a really, really lightweight shoe. And I'm concerned about how well it's going to wear because lightweight shoes tend to not wear for very long or they would tend to wear out quicker. Um, but I'll come back and let you guys know exactly how well they turned out. Um, so this is the year of the pig and like I said the pig logo here and then if you look at the back of the shoe it actually says the year of the pig on the back of the shoe so I'll put that out there for the YouTube camera so the year of the pig is actually written on the back of the heel pole that is pretty pretty cool so this is uh, regular leather smooth leather here suede across both edges if you look on the inside, this is a satin on the inside here. So this is a really nice, like a soft satiny, uh, very, um, almost like a mirror-like finish on the inside. So uh, very much like the material that's on the tongue. Um, really cool stuff, red all the way in the inside of the shoe. Um, this is, what I really thought was neat was um, when they brought this shoe out, K-Swiss changed their brand logo on all of their uh, Instagram and all their Facebook and uh, the top of all their Facebook page, everything changed to this color of red. Did a really good branding job on that. I was really excited to see them, you know, really step up their game. Um, it's really exciting to see a company start to kind of blossom and come out of their shell. Uh, a company that deserves it, a company I've loved for a long time that uh, is finally starting to uh, to come back and and show how well it can do so so those are the brand new k-swiss cr329 chinese new year edition so these are also a limited limited edition so these are limited to uh, just a few pairs of shoes um, they just popped about three or four days ago so they're going to be um, going to run out of them pretty quick i'm sure that they're not going to last through the whole month of february so um, because the chinese new year starts february 5th those are the cr329 if you're just joining us too this is the classic this is the um chinese new year classic and like i said i really like this you know classic look it's been around for a long time i've had a pair of classics um, most of my life um, when i was younger for sure in the late 80s early 90s i wore a lot of these basically two brand new pairs of shoes from K-Swiss, both limited edition, uh, both really cool shoes. Um, and I think if you would like a pair, you just go to kswiss.com and buy them for yourself. 
Uh, also just picked up this um, this sweatshirt that I just got today, so I was excited to be able to wear this uh, for my life today. Hey, thanks a lot. If you would please do me a huge favor, and um, if I brought you value today, just make sure that you like Harper Explores on Facebook, and then also Harper Explores on uh, YouTube. So if you go to YouTube, and make sure that you like and subscribe, and if you would please do me a huge favor, and uh, press on that bell. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a beautiful Thursday evening, and thank you so much for joining me. Have a great, great night.